Okay, so the essential thing to understand about the morph transition is that it works across slides, meaning it's an effect that happens between two slides, and there needs to be at least one object in common between the two slides for which you're creating the effect. The easiest way to do this is to either duplicate the first slide and then alter the object on the second slide by moving it, resizing it, and so on, or you can copy and paste an object from the first slide to the second slide. In this example, I want the entire org chart to behave as a single object, but currently they're all individual objects. As you can see here, I can select them individually. So the first thing I need to do is group them together. I'll do this by drawing a marquee around the entire chart to select everything. Then I'll come up to the Format tab, and I'll choose Group, Group. Alright, so now they're all behaving as a single object, as you can tell by the single box around them, and I can move it around all as one. I'll undo that move. Alright, so as I mentioned, in order to use Morph, you have to have at least one object in common between slides. So let's duplicate this slide by right-clicking it and choosing Duplicate Slide. And there's my copy. Next, I need to set up the object in the way I want it to look on this slide. Let's zoom out a bit on this slide so we can see more of it. And with this object selected, I'll now hold Shift while I grab one of its corners to make sure it stays proportional as I make it larger. And then I'll reposition it so this top photo is right about in the middle here. And maybe I'll make it just a little bit larger. All right, so right about there. And that's how I want this slide to look. Now I want to zoom into two more of these photos. So now let's duplicate this slide, again by right-clicking and choosing Duplicate Slide. And on this copy, I don't need to resize it because it's already zoomed in the way I want. I'm just going to drag it up and to the right to bring this photo to the center. And we'll duplicate this slide. And here we'll drag up this final photo here in the lower left-hand corner. All right, and lastly, we want to return to the view of the full org chart after this. Now, I already have this full view right here, so I'm going to duplicate this slide one more time. And I'll just drag that down to the bottom of the sequence. Okay, so let's select the first slide and go into slideshow mode and see what we have so far. So there's the overview. I press the space bar. We zoom into the first photo. We jump to the second one, the third one, and back to the overview. So it looks exactly the way we have it set up, but it's a pretty jarring visual experience right now. We're just jumping to the zoom and from photo to photo. So now let's add the morph transition. I'm going to select the first close-up slide and I'll come up to the Transitions tab, and here we'll find Morph, and we'll see a preview of how that's going to look. And just like with the animations we looked at earlier, you can customize the behavior of transition effects. Over here on the right, I could set the duration to make it faster or slower. Under Effect Options, you can choose whether the effect should apply to objects, words, or the individual characters in words. None of my words are changing, so I'm going to leave Objects selected. But that's pretty much it. Now I just need to apply the morph effect to the other slides. So I'll select the next one, and then holding down Shift, I'll select the last slide in the sequence to select all three. And now I can click Morph to apply to these selected slides. Let's go back up to the top of our sequence and run this through slideshow mode to make sure it's working the way it should. So now I'll press the space bar, and we see the smooth zoom in effect. I press it again, we slide down, I press again, we slide down again, and one more press of the spacebar takes us back to the overview. All right, so there it is. And I think you'll agree that this is a much nicer visual effect than simply jumping to the zoomed in view of each photo.